the entrance antiphon. O people of Sion, behold, the Lord will come to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of His voice heard in the joy of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned sin. in, in my thoughts and in and my, in my words. words. In, in what, what I have done, done what and in I what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my, brothers my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your dress of sorrow and distress. Put on the beauty of the glory of God forever. Wrap the cloak of the integrity of God around you. Put the diadem of, glory, of the glory of the eternal on your head. Since God means to show your splendor to every nation under heaven, since the name God gives you forever will be peace through integrity and honor through devotedness. Arise, Jerusalem, stand on the heights and turn your eyes to the east. See your sons reassembled from west and east at the command of the Holy One, jubilant that God has remembered them. Though they left you on foot with enemies for an escort, now God brings them back to you like royal princes carried back in glory. For God has decreed the flattening of each high mountain of the everlasting hills, the filling of the valleys to make the ground level, so that Israel can walk in safety under the glory of God. And the forests and every fragrant tree will provide shade for Israel at the command of God. For God will guide Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and integrity for escort. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seems like a dream. 
Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seeds for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Every time I pray for all of you, I pray with joy, remembering how you have helped to spread the good news from the day you first heard it right up to the present. I am quite certain that the one who began this good work in you will see that it is finished when the day of Christ Jesus comes. God knows how much I miss you all, loving you as Christ Jesus loves you. My prayer is that your love for each other may increase more and more, and never stop improving your knowledge and deepening your perception so that you can always recognize what is best. This will help you to become pure and blameless and prepare you for the day of Christ when you will reach the perfect goodness which Jesus Christ produces in us for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight, and all mankind shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the fifteenth year of Tiberius Caesar's reign, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of the lands of Iturea and Trigonitis, Dissanius, tetrarch of Abilene, during the pontificate of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went through the whole Jordan district, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book, of the sayings of the prophet Isaiah, a voice cries in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord. Make his path straight. Every valley will be filled in, every mountain and hill be laid low. Winding ways will be straightened and rough roads made smooth. And all mankind shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have entered Advent. In fact, this is the second Sunday of Advent, and Advent leads to Christmas, and Christmas leads to the New Year 2022. And certainly, we want to leave behind 2021, for it has been a very difficult year for all of us, some more difficult than the others. And indeed, this sense of newness and freshness coincide with the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the church in Singapore or the founding of the church in Singapore. Indeed, it is next Saturday, right, where the entire archdiocese will celebrate this milestone in our history, in our growth of the church in Singapore. So there will be the main celebration at the Cathedral of the Good Shepherd at 6 p.m. And indeed, only that Saturday, that is next Saturday, we have all the churches in Singapore will start their mass at 6 p.m., start their evening mass on Saturday at 6 p.m. So that means the the 5.30 p.m. mass will shift to 6 p.m. only for that day only. It's one off. Huh? We still have the 3.45 p.m. mass, huh? so don't worry. And indeed, some VIPs will be invited from the governments, from the government of Singapore, and indeed from the interreligious organization huh? to, to commemorate this momentous milestone in the development of the Catholic Church in Singapore. And certainly, when we have this sort of celebration, then we will also look forward uh, for the next 100 years or 100, 200 years of how we could going to grow as a church. And indeed, we don't have much space in Singapore to build more churches right, because land has got really limited. Right, in the last 200 years, we have built 32 churches. Right? So I don't think the next 100 years or next 200 years we're going to have that number of churches. It will be a miracle, of course, to have that numbers, and certainly we believe in miracles. But that remains to be seen by our descendants huh? because we will not be long enough huh, to see that sort of event. But nevertheless, the Advent spirit, the Advent atmosphere in the readings tells us that more importantly is that to prepare to receive the Lord, right? To prepare that the Lord to be reborn again in our hearts at Christmas. And it's also suitable for us in Singapore because we don't have any mountains to level Right, we may have cut down, and certainly we have cut down a few hills that has no potential to be a tourist spot yeah, to do some land reclamation uh, from the sea, right, to fill up some swamps that we have in the interior of Singapore. Right? And we do have much valleys, and the valleys that we have, we turn them into reservoirs, uh, like the one at Bedok Reservoir. Yeah? So then, all that physical infrastructural developments for Singapore, right, is also reaching its plateau. And what we need to do, dear friends, and more importantly, and indeed that is what encouraged and recommended by the scripture readings of today, is to develop our heart right? and also our soul. And indeed, all the readings point to that. Right? In the first reading, we have also this flattening of mountains and uh, filling of valleys. It will be the mountains in ourselves, the mountains that became barriers to God's mercy, the mountains that blocked the light of Christ into our daily activities. Right? The valleys that prevent 
God's mercy from reaching us. Uh, this to be filled in by our own, uh, certainly our efforts, but also totally with the grace of God that we have to facilitate. That means open our hearts to God's mercy and grace. Open our mind to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And what do we do? Then we can grow, right, as a child of God, as a community that is respected by the community. Yes, the church has contrib contributed much to the development of Singapore. That's why uh, the government is paying, uh, has given us some amount of attention. Right? We have representation uh, of those Catholics who have studied in our Catholic schools and even those who are not Catholics have studied in our Catholic schools and they are now serving. The government, the private sector, the upper echelons of the private sector at all levels and even in the military as well. Right? And so these, are these achievements certainly right, make us proud and certainly in the First reading, they say, all mankind shall see the salvation of God. Right? So all mankind in Singapore right, have seen right, the achievements and the contribution of God's people, the people of God of Singapore. And certainly then we want to make, we want to take the step forward, right? To make our hearts pure. Uh, recommended by the second reading from the letter to the Philippians. Our hearts as pure or purer than others. And certainly the challenge is there uh, with the internet that is surrounding us and the images and the temptations that come from there is certainly a battle that is constant and very, very pervasive. And we certainly need to be able to be on top of such temptations. The second reading talks about goodness as well. Right? The good works that we are called to contribute and to collaborate with others both inside the church and outside the church. We also have to increase our perception of God's will for us. Perception here can mean wisdom. And of course, to build, that, build up that wisdom, that perception, then certainly we have to increase our knowledge. That is also recommended by the second reading. And next, certainly, is to advertise God, advertise the good news of God by our encouraging words, by our holy lifestyle, and certainly by our good works. And certainly, on top of that, all this is always prayer. Right? And St. Paul, in the opening lines of the second reading, letter to the Philippians, talks about, I pray, yeah? for you all the time. And I pray that also, uh, you also uh, will be worthy uh, of the mission entrusted to you. And prayer is certainly very important for us. We will look, people will look upon us, are we a people of prayer? Or we just join the Masses, right? To busy ourselves with many, many things other than prayer. Have you all done this? The pandemic has put us into circuit breakers and heightened alerts. Have you used the time to pray more? 
I know some have done. Right? So, it is, so this is something that we have to do. Yeah, because we have the Omicron variant that has appeared on the horizon and is causing jittery around the world. Some have carried them past through Singapore. Yeah, certainly we have, next, we have to wait for the next few weeks to see how much damage he has inflicted on us. And that's where the prayer still is, is as important as ever. At the same time, we also prepare to make our hearts more welcoming to Jesus, to make our hearts more sensitive to the words of Jesus, so that we can really embrace him, the baby Jesus, with our hands, with our hearts, with our eyes, right at Christmas, worthy to be counted as his brethren. After all, we are baptized. And let us then be worthy of the marvels of the Lord has done for us as proposed by the responsible sum. And indeed, because we are marvels, the, we are carriers of the marvels of God, then in this celebration of the 200 years, then certainly we, are, we will look up to by many people in Singapore. Even though we may not be able to celebrate much this year, because of the precautions that we must do and we have to do. But do not be saddened that it's going to pass us forever. Because next year, actually, 2022, the Archdiocese celebrates 50th anniversary as an, as an Archdiocese on its own right. In 1972, Pope St. Paul VI gave the green light for Singapore to have its own Archdiocese. We need not have to borrow any other country's name like before. You know, previously, it was known as the Archdiocese of Malacca, Singapore. Right? From December 18, 1972, we are the Archdiocese of Singapore. And next year, we will celebrate the 50th anniversary of that. And indeed, in two years' time, our parish, Holy Family Church, we're going to celebrate 100 years of its foundation. Because 100 years ago, in 1923, right, the chapel was built here, in this corner here, and was blessed on that day, 23rd November, 1923. 23, 11, 23. So, dear friends, dear brothers and sisters, there are a lot of good things to look forward to. A lot of blessings to look forward to. Right? Right. So let us then do our part. Let us then tune ourselves to that. Starting right now. And right now, it's a good time also because we are in the 21st year of the 21st century. So let us then do justice to these numbers that are soothing to our ears, so that all our good works will be suiting to everybody, to the hearts of everybody, with God's blessing. Amen. Fashion of faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, believe I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten, begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we look towards the day of the Lord, we ask His help for all our spiritual and earthly needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all Catholics, that this Advent, we will renew our spiritual selves to prepare for the way of the Lord by fruitful participation at Mass and by deep repentance at the sacrament of penance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For all world leaders, that they will lead the way in resisting the materialism of this season while focusing on the safety and welfare of all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those facing difficulties at this time of the year, especially the lonely, the homeless, the sick, and the exiled, that their communities will bring them material aid, comfort, hope, and cheer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For our youths celebrating the sacrament of confirmation this weekend, that the Holy Spirit will guide them to practice their faith in all aspects of their lives and give them the courage to witness to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For us parishioners, that as we commemorate Catholic 200 SG, we will reach out to those estranged from church or community and as missionaries of God, rebuild broken relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Father, help us to repent of our crooked paths and return home to you to joyfully prepare for your gift of salvation. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble offerings and prayers, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For you assume in his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch, watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we only dare to hope. And so we angels and our angels with thrones and dominions with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts that are brought to you for consecration. They become the body and blood of the Son of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and gave thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially in the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with St. John Damasin, St. Ada, and St. Barbara, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your present life for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and William of Bishop, the other bishops, all the clergy and entire people have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who am summoned before you. 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of glory to Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your view, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Jerusalem, arise and stand upon the heights, and behold the joy which comes to you from God.
let us pray. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and reach you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present age, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when it comes again in majesty. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ, for your participation during this service.